Hey folks, Joyce here, Certified Health Coach. Happy Mental Health Month, y'all. Today, we're gonna get happy with some spinach. I want to preface this series with a study that was published in the American Journal of Public Health that had over 12,000 participants, and it found that an increased consumption of fruits and vegetables is predictive of increased happiness, life satisfaction, and well-being. So how is that applicable to you? Well, the study also mentioned that it's comparable to the feeling of being unemployed to employed. So I don't know if y'all have been there before, but it's a pretty rough place to be in, depending how long you've been there. But once you do get that job, it's like everything's okay again, or even better than okay, right? So if y'all are curious about this topic, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and watch all the way to the end because I have so much bonus information I want to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started and find out why spinach is such a good mood food. Some of y'all have seen this word before, but just to refresh your memory, serotonin is the good mood hormone. It helps us regulate our mood by helping us feel more calm, less anxious, less aggressive, and it also helps us regulate our cravings. Pretty cool, right? So what does serotonin have to do with spinach? Well, there's an essential amino acid, aka protein, found in spinach called tryptophan. And that may sound familiar to you because you've heard it with turkey a lot, but let's just put the turkey and tryptophan on the shelf for just a minute, okay? So when I say essential amino acids, that means that our bodies can't make this type of protein, so we need to obtain it from our environment by eating it, okay? So back to the turkey and tryptophan example. So according to the Physicians Committee of Responsible Medicine, Tryptophan in Turkey is so much that it overloads our system that our brain can't absorb it as quickly as opposed to plant sources like spinach or dark leafy greens, okay? So we can readily absorb the tryptophan into our brain more easily through plant-based sources than animal sources. And why is that important? Well, tryptophan helps make serotonin. Okay, so that is the link here. So the tryptophan in the spinach helps make serotonin, which helps us feel happier. If you like what you're seeing so far, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it to stay updated on future videos as soon as they come out. And connect with me on Instagram and Facebook at Kala Health and Wellness. I hope I'm doing an okay job convincing you guys to eat more dark leafy greens like spinach to get happy. So you may be wondering, how much should I eat to get this benefit? Well, according to a report in the Journal of Neurology, eating one serving a day of dark leafy greens improves your brain health. And for older adults, it was found that the ones who ate at least one serving a day were 11 years younger cognitively. Just think about that. 11 years younger cognitively than those who did it. Pretty mind blowing, right? In a good way. So let's talk about the servings inside this small clamshell. This is five ounces and I counted it and it was eight cups of spinach. So how many servings is that? We know that there's eight cups in here, but what are the serving sizes for dark leafy greens? That is two cups of raw spinach is one serving, okay? So that means you have four servings in this clamshell. If you're curious about how that looks like on a plate, I highly suggest you checking out my video on how to eat more dark leafy greens as part of the Eat Three or More Veggies a Day series. Link is above and in the description below. In addition to the bonus benefits that I just shared with you guys, tryptophan also helps make melatonin, which helps us sleep better, making us easier to get along with during the day. And also, like serotonin, helps us manage our appetite. Pretty cool, right? So hopefully I made a case for y'all to eat more dark leafy greens like spinach. And if I have, please consider eating at least one serving a day to get happy. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share, or hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have, thank y'all so, so much. Stay tuned next week. We're gonna continue on Get Happy series for Good Mood Food, Mental Health Month Awareness. See you next week. And remember, you deserve to be happy and healthy.